Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. We're going to be continuing on with Ismail, his campaign in Mission 4, The Fallen Emir. Hearing the Shah tell of those days, I feel the same wounds puncture my heart once more. Not once has he mentioned my brother's name or his daring feats. If not for my curiosity, I would have silenced this wretched man hours ago. But the details that I crave the most are yet to come. One day, a visitor arrived from the east, seeking aid and shelter. His master was the Timurid leader, Babur, who hoped to reclaim his homeland of Transoxiana from the rapacious Uzbek warlord, Shebani Khan. As Babur and Ismail both were avid lovers of poetry, the Timurid was confident that our Shah would happily answer the call. Yet for all of their similarities, Ismail loathed the thought of being compared to this mortal, as he described him. In accepting Babur's request for an alliance, Ismail hoped not for an enduring partnership, but an opportunity to supplant the Uzbeks from the historic Persian region of Khorasan, from which they had been launching raids against his new holdings. Khorasan rightfully belonged to the Timurids, but its links to the Silk Road trade made it one of the wealthiest regions in the world. Ancient shahs such as Cyrus and Yazdegerd had thriven off of its riches, and as uprisings became increasingly common throughout Persia, Ismail believed that this territory was the key to protecting his throne. Although they swore to fulfill the shah's wishes, there was an unspoken consensus among the Kizilbash that Ismail was overextending himself. Deep inside, they knew that they were headed for a breaking point. Possibly? Now. Let's see what will happen here. Now capture Merv by defeating Shaibani Khan's army. Kill Shaibani Khan to weaken his army. Hints. Shaibani's forces can advance to the Imperial Age and has support a population limit of 150. Although the rivers of Central Asia are teeming with fish, they're not sustainable for a large war vessels. Babur will train a large and strong army, including armored elephants, if he gains control of Samarkand. The Kuzilbash in Ismail's ranks will become a separate faction once Shaibani Khan is eliminated. If you succeed in conquering Herat, the Kuzilbash will make the city their base and become a powerful ally. Established trade with Babur can be a convenient way to amass gold, especially with the help of caravansarais. Scouts, your scouts report that Shah Ismail one, year, one Yellow has arrived in Khorasan from the western uh, west to capture the ancient city of Merv, 8 Grey, from the Uzbek Shaibani Khan 3 Sion. Far to the west is in Kabul lives Babur to arrange a deposed Timur ruler at war with the Uzbeks. Babur will mostly train camel riders, armored elephants, and cavalry archers. The mountain pass leading to Babur's Kab uh, Babur Kabul settlement is covered by the city of Herat Fall Blue. Its garrison consists of crossbowmen. Keshiks and Sultan. Far to the north, Balbu's mountain holding is his old capital, Samarkand, five purple. Its forces will attack Balbu with heavily, uh, heavy cavalry, rams, cavalry archers, and monks. The main Uzbek army, six green, operates out of the city of Gazdawan and its outskirts in the central and western region of the map. The Uzbeks field step lances, hussars, pikemen, skipjacks, and siege engines. Okay. Let's go. We have to kill Shaibani Khan, and I'll definitely focus on him first. Because if we do. Your cub has come to join us. <laughs> How approve <laughs> You regret your provocations once you are groveling at my feet, Shaibani <laughs> Hmm. Compared to their losses, we have not lost too much. Shaibani, you have lost your army here, kind of. There's definitely a lot of loot resources here we can also gather. You're still drunk with pride after besting those frivolous pony. Now you face up to 
professional step war. You know your picture. Now that I've killed his army here, I definitely need to kill him. But it's gonna be hard because I don't want to cross over all his armies here. As not only will it be annoying uh, to murder his entire hold. Oh god, of course, they're annoying us. There we go. Now if I kill Shea Bonnie, where is he? Oh, there he is. I didn't murder most of his army. Hello, Shea Bonnie. Kuzubash, kill him. You have slain that pompous name. Now his demoralized horsemen fight with half the ferocity. True, but I've already got not many more men left. That's it. So a few more men left. No, just a few more men left. I shall toss this victory with his own skull. Finally, I am free of that scourge. Tell me where I'm needed, Ismael, and I shall reinforce you promptly. I definitely love to have you help. Uh... I hope you do not take me lightly, Ismael. Given proper provisions, I am no pushover. Ismael needs our help, man. Charge! Hello? Oh, and no. I promise that I am not plotting to double-cross you. I would never wish that upon anyone after experiencing it firsthand. I'm not sure about that, by the way. How do I... If I destroy this, I will be strong. The issue is, I have no stone. Currently, well, not much, let's say that. Definitely need to make more men here and need to advance to the next age. Uh, damn it. Let's also research this path in tactics. We at least made a new army here again. And Babur is definitely moving forward. Our town is being defended by our Kuzobash men. That's it. 
<clears throat> nice. Hmm. We could try to maybe make some siege. They surely are attacking them quite often, which is good, because this means he's getting weaker and won't dare to attack me too much. And I'll soon be able to make a castle, which is important for me, as I'm going to be recruiting lots of elephants soon. Hello. Castle now, let's go. I'll uh, place it here just to defend myself in case of anything. Now we have some more goods, I mean, resources to start making some more men. Nice. Let's get us some gold too. We're slowly running out of it. At least my Kuzelbush army is also moving forward. The issue is my army is literally just attacking them. Well, it's not necessary too much. Mm. Ismail needs our help, man. Charge! All I need him to do is just to capture the, uh, you know, places. Fine. I want to destroy them right now here. The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assaults. Ah, you'll be fine. What are you talking about? Why would I help a person who can handle everything on their own? We're gonna definitely need a lot of food. I just have got a castle now. So I'll be able to destroy this castle and that means Kuzzle Bush will even get more powerful and they'll be able to send more reinforcements and I don't need to send too much myself. And that's gonna be a big plus for me. Um, definitely wanna have some more people hunting. 
That's it. This army will just protect us. Let's go. Okay, okay, we're fine. I yeah, definitely need to make more farms and all. Let's go. There we are. The enemy forces will reach us soon. Dispatch your orders to us, and we shall follow your lead, my sheikh. Salon. Memor. Um. As you wish. Now the Kuzobash is strong, I'll definitely be also be able to start scattering around here. Oh, I have my own castles back now, finally. Something good. Nice. Needs our help, man. Charge! Heck yeah, let's go. I've not even advanced to the Imperial Age, and I'm starting to push them even harder. But that's also because I've got some nice allies. Draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault. <sighs> you can do it. I'm not gonna bother. We have raised one of the Uzbek castles. The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault. This is only good news for me. Send some help. He's being screwed up. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna need some more resources here. Ah, uh, yeah, here. how they came inside here but okay Oh great, they're attacking these guys, leave them alone. Don't you betray me right now. Another castle will be destroyed soon. Hold on. There we go. Great. They're destroying everything. We have leveled two of Gazdevan's castles. Soon I will be home at last. No oh, blessed. How about I destroy their head over here too? The Uzbek general. Money. 
I have got a lot of wood now. Come on boys, the last castle shall be destroyed soon and we'll be fine. Kill him. Killing him will only make us good. Now... You are as generous as they say, Ismael. Rest assured, I have much better plans for these townsmen than just carving statues in my likeness. I hope so. Even though I do not trust you at all, but okay. Why are my armies all located here? What the hell? Like, move on, boys. What are you waiting for? A miracle? Not as we haven't nearly killed them. And I've helped this guy. Because he's sending some CJ is good. Come on, boys. Get on. Okay, I'll now push forward towards his uh, town here. Can't do anything anymore. When I do, I'm sending my entire army there. I'll just quickly destroy their town center too, come on. Here I go. This past slaughter 
really necessary. I do need a civilization to return to. It is necessary, I'm sorry. Oh great. Didn't see that. I really forgot it. But okay. As defense castles lie in ruin. Now is our chance to take the city. Wait, what is going on? Why are you just stalling? Enough! All this senseless destruction, and for what? To breed more hostility? Our patience has run out. If only you had foreseen the descent in your ranks, Ismail, we would have prevailed. Now I am forced to migrate to India, never to see my beloved Transoxiana again. Allah gives and Allah takes. Good riddance. At least Khorasan is mine to keep. Exactly. Gigi! Like a lion complacent to its privilege, power can corrupt even the savviest of leaders. Ismail's misadventures in Central Asia made the Kizilbash keenly aware of how power had changed him. Consumed by his tireless vanity, his soft words of wisdom were now replaced by fits of rage. As old tribal feuds began to re-emerge, only the fear of retribution still held their loyalty intact. Questioning Ismail about what happened at Gazdevan, he blames his unruly commander for not keeping his subordinates in check. Yet, as much as he denies it by his tongue, his stubborn temper reveals everything to me. Deep inside, I think he knows that Babur surpassed him in many ways. That chronic underdog never took his victories for granted. Even as the Fergana Valley was lost to him forever, he remained steadfast as he crossed the Hindu Kush to start anew. This type of resilience always eluded Ismail, who never accepted that he was capable of making mistakes. Whether or not the Kizilbash were ready to admit it, they secretly wished that he would learn to value this lesson. Then one day, their hopes finally came true, and in the most horrific way possible. Exactly! No, anyway, we have finished this mission, which was quite amazing to do as well. I should have actually killed the general even more faster, but too bad. I mean, we would have gotten even more reinforcements too. If we just swapped around through here, like going in circle mode against the Uzbek army. But nonetheless, we've done it and we've pushed in double fronts. Like first we took over here and then we've helped our ally a little bit. Then we pushed over here already too. And we moved up north to take down the commander and then go down and it was nice mission. Of course, we'd also have a nice ally which helped us greatly. Now we're, this is done, so we're going to move on to the next mission which is mission 5 to Katai. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you support it. Do you want to recommend something we can come together that's possible as well? Just write down in the comments box below or join me in the Discord server so we can have a chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys later.